Hello there. Today I am here with a new topic. That is the articles. So now, let's know what the articles are by parts of speech. So articles, articles are adjectives by part of speech. So uh, there are two major types of articles. Uh, one is uh, indefinite articles. I mean, a or n. The other is definite articles. That is, t h e the. When we generally talk about something, we use indefinite article. When we talk about a specific thing, uh, a specific person, then we use definite article. You can say when we speak about something or someone for the first time, then we use indefinite article. And uh, when we talk uh, about uh, someone or something for the second time, then we use definite article. Why? Because now, this time, the person, the thing has been mentioned to you uh, the second time. So now you can know very well and you can understand very well that which person or thing I am referring to or I am talking about. You can say, if I tell you a small story, uh, a fiction story, not in real by the way, uh, so uh, you can, you know, understand uh, the usage of uh, indefinite and definite article, uh, you know, from that story. So the story is this, that I saw a dog, the dog was chasing a cat, the cat was chasing a rat, the rat rushed into a hole, the hole was very deep. So you can see, whenever I have taken the name of uh, 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 something, for the first time, I have used a. Uh. When I have used uh, the name of the thing for the second time, then I have used the. So this is the difference. And uh, <clears throat> as we know uh, that, you know, uh, since our childhood, we have been taught that uh, whenever uh, a word starts or begins uh, with the vowel, we put an as an article, we put an. And whenever a word begins with a consonant, I mean later, uh, whenever a word begins with a consonant, then we put a as an article. So here, you know, uh, things are completely different. Uh, now, now you can understand that uh, what I am talking about. I am talking about the sounds. Okay. Uh, you can say the consonant and vowel letters are not the matter. The matter is the sounds of those words, uh, you know, which uh, are followed uh, by article. Whenever you speak a word, so here you have to consider that whether it starts with the consonant sound or consonant letter. Uh, or you can say the same thing when you start a word. So you have to consider that uh, whether uh, this word starts with the vowel sound or consonant sound. Okay. Not the consonant letter or uh, the vowel letter. Okay, now let's know what the vowels are. Actually, there are five letters. Uh, I mean, they are vowels. There are 20 vowel sounds in English. And there are around 24 consonant sounds in English. So, don't go to the consonant or vowel letters. Just go to the vowel letters, uh, sorry, vowel sounds and consonant sounds. Here I would like to tell you something that what the vowel sounds are. Like, 
whenever you pronounce a vowel sound then you will realize that neither your tongue has a special movement nor your lips or your teeth have a movement is i mean a specific movement okay because the vowels you know uh, the vowel sounds come through the mouth you know all at once now i will pronounce uh, the vowel sounds you will see that my tongue will not have a movement and uh, my uh, lips will not have a movement either now you can see a a e e o u you saw neither you know my lips had a movement nor my uh, tongue had a movement i mean a specific movement you can say they didn't uh, touch each other because my lips didn't touch each other and my teeth you know uh, that you know the jaws didn't touch either each other so this is the difference uh, consonants are very easy you can say that you know m l g h you can see that you know my tongue uh, has a movement and you can say that you know and uh, my lips you know have a movement uh, so that's why it's not easily and i have written here the complete vice versa okay for making you understand you can see here a word it starts with a vowel but still i have put a or a there here you know <coughs> these are consonants but still i have put a n why because the main purpose is not the consonant or vowel letter but the main purpose is the sound you have to just uh, consider the sound that uh, whether it is a consonant sound or vowel sound a eunuch a eunuch uh, okay the second letter sorry the second word e w e a u a u okay e u r o p e a n a european a european okay but you can say a european uh, you cannot say uh, you can say a european but you cannot say a europe why because europe is a proper noun and we never use articles with proper nouns just remember it okay and the second thing that you know a one legged bird a one legged bird now you can see here there are two two words and you to you know joined together you can say there is a combination of a noun and adjective whenever you know uh, a noun and an adjective or maybe you know, more than one adjective two adjectives combined together to modify a noun so those all you can say two three words become an adjective to modify the noun okay you can see now leg is a noun one is adjective now it is the combination of uh, noun and adjective now it has become uh, completely an adjective to modify the noun bird okay so there are a lot of examples like this that you can see a 10 rupee note a 10 dollar bill a five star hotel a seven star hotel a 10 year old boy uh, a 15 day tour now you can see i did not say 10 uh, rupees note no a 10 rupee note i didn't say uh, a 10 years old boy no a 10 year old boy i did not say a 15 days tour but i said a 15 day tour i did not say five stars hotel but rather i said 
फाइव स्टार होटल फाइव स्टार होटल एंड आई सेड सेवन स्टार होटल आई डिड नॉट से सेवन स्टार्स होटल वाई बिकॉज सेवन इज एन एजेक्टिव स्टार इज अ नाउन नाउ दे आर कंबाइंड टूगेदर टू मोडिफाई यू कैन से एन अदर नाउन सो दैट्स वाई इट हैज बिकम आई मीन दिस कंबिनेशन ऑफ वर्ड्स हैव बिकम वन दैट इज इजेक्टिव एंड इजेक्टिव सॉरी इजेक्टिव डू नॉट हैव पुलूरल और यू कैन से सिंगुलर्स ओके सिंगुलर्स आर you know nouns have singulars and plurals okay understand okay a one legged bird <laughs> okay a university a university you can see again the university starts with the sound i mean with the letter u but it has a consonant sound that's why uh, we don't say any university we say a university so now here you know I want to tell you two things about u and o. Whenever o gives its own sound, that is a vowel sound. But when uh, you know uh, o gives the vowel vowel sound, okay, uh, in Urdu if we read it, then that is vowel. Then that time it is giving a consonant sound. You can see here a uh, one legged. bird a uh, one okay <coughs> and here you can say about you that whenever you gives its own sound so that is not a vowel sound that is a consonant sound okay so uh, similarly you can see here these uh, letters and that you know n f n h n l in m you can see these are consonant letters but i have put you know uh, en with them why because they give a vowel sound you can see here now in a a b a c a d in f uh, a g in h in i a j a k in l in m in n in o a p a q in r in s a t a u a v a w in x a y a z okay so uh you can see the uh, word now our h o u r our uh, so when you know this h is silent this h is silent that we say in our in our okay because the letter h coming in the beginning is silent you can see the second word h e i r but we don't say here we say air air in air in air only i have written this word okay according to the studies of our past you can see as we have been taught that whenever a word starts with a consonant letter uh, we uh, use uh, 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 a and whenever a word starts with a vowel uh, vowel letter we use n okay so only this word i have written okay in e word e w e r in e word e word is a kind of jug in past you know, or used to be a jug you know in past or oh, with a spout okay long spout in it anyway and uh, you can see the second example and that is uh you know nationalities when we talk about the nationalities okay or nations we say in indian in indian a pakistani in american okay now you can see the usage of indefinite article in sentence that uh, could you please show me a pen could you please show me a pen now here i am not asking for a specific specific pen 
I am just talking about a general pain that is any pain okay it can be any pain okay I am not specific here about the pain okay and uh, here, here I want to tell you something that uh, indefinite article A or N are sometimes used uh, for the meaning of per, every, and each. Okay? Apart from being one. Okay? As you all know that, you know, indefinite articles are used for SCN, countable singular nouns. Countable singular nouns. A or N means one, one. If you say one, the same thing. If you say A or N, the same thing. But here I want to tell you that A or N, apart from being one, A or, A or N, give the meaning of per each and every. Like, I get 20,000 rupees a month. I get, as a salary, I get 20,000 rupees a month. It means I get 20,000 rupees per month. I get 20,000 rupees each month. I get 20,000 rupees every month. Okay? So, before I say it, we do not use the articles for proper nouns. Proper noun means the real name, the original name, okay, by birth someone has gotten, okay, the real name of someone or something, the original name, okay, that is a proper noun. With proper nouns, we do not use articles. But whenever you see an article with a proper noun, it means that proper noun has been used as a common noun, okay? Not a proper noun. Here I have brought, uh, you know, some examples. Okay. You see the examples? The first sentence, A Shahid Afridi lives here. A Shahid Afridi lives here. Okay? In our area, you can see, A Shahid Afridi lives here. In our area it does not mean the person uh, lives here uh, uh, you know his name is Shahid Afridi no he plays cricket like that he's a good cricketer and you know he you know hit those you know long sixes like Shahid Afridi so that's why we name him Shahid Afridi for the quality of Shahid Afridi okay not for the name of Shahid Afridi so that is why this Shahid Afridi has been used as a common noun. Okay? Common nouns can take articles. Look at the sen second sentence. He is a Shahid Afridi for us. He is a Shahid Afridi for us. Okay? So it means he plays well. His name is not Shahid Afridi. Okay? He plays very well. Okay? He's a good player, a good hitter of you know, sixes. So that's why here Shahid Afridi's name has been used as his quality, not his name, okay? The last sentence with the definite article, that is, he is the Shahid Afridi of our team. He is the Shahid Afridi of our team. Now here it does not mean that his name is Shahid Afridi but we have named him with Shahid Afridi that he plays very well. Okay. So here we have said the Shahid Afridi means you know in our team uh, you know uh, out of uh, those you know 11 players we have chosen him you can say we have picked him you know. Uh, you know, for this quality and we have named him Shahid Afridi. Otherwise, his name is not Shahid Afridi, but he plays very well, you know. From, you know, among those uh, players, 11 players, he is the Shahid Afridi 
of our t okay so now let's go to the definite articles as i said there you know uh, when there is a consonant and vowel uh, sound problem then we use you know uh, a or n accordingly here we have a problem that whenever there is a vowel sound we say d t h e d it whenever there is a consonant sound then we say the but not the letters always okay as i said there you know for the sounds of vowel and uh, vowel and consonants here uh, the same thing you always have to go with the sounds okay not with the letters because letters differ sometimes okay so that's why you have to pay a strong attention on sounds now you can see the doctor the teacher the student uh, the bank the hotel okay but now see the engineer the inspector okay the office the orange the apple okay so this is the difference and uh, uh, here i would like to tell you that uh, uh, mostly the definite article is used in relative clauses okay so here i have brought two sentences with the relative clause so that you uh, understand the usage of definite article the okay you can see the first sentence can you uh, can you give me the pen which you showed me yesterday can you give me the pen which you showed me yesterday so now now here you can say i am talking about a specific pen a specific pen okay here i said can you please show me a pen any pen here i am talking about the pen which you showed me yesterday okay can you give me the pen which you showed me yesterday or can you please give me the pen which you showed me yesterday okay look at the second sentence now that is the man that is the man who met me in the office that is the man who met me in the office now here i am talking about not a common man a general man i am talking about a specific man okay that met me in the office okay so this is the difference now some other uses i have brought here not you know these are not all of them but uh, just uh, some examples okay okay here i would like to tell you that uh, we can use article i mean indefinite article a or n only for singular countable nouns but we can use definite article the t h e for sometimes abstract nouns for common nouns for uh, uncountable nouns for plurals okay you can see with plural nouns we can use the with uncountable nouns we can use the with sometimes abstract nouns we can we can use the otherwise with common yeah common nouns we can use definite article okay that you uh, you know with any common noun we can use okay it is possible that we can use the okay but not a proper noun as i said before proper nouns do not take articles now you can see some you know cardinals that the first time the second chance the third one and you can see the rivers with the names of rivers also we use article the why because those rivers are very famous uh, you can say they are you know you can see here and uh, uh here you will say that you know sir you told us that you know with proper nouns we do not use articles but here you know the has been used with proper nouns so here i would would like to tell you that you know this the article is for this because this is disappeared the mississippi river okay the amazon river 
the Venezuela River, the Porali, a very famous river here in you know Balochistan, uh, the Porali River, or another famous uh, river here in Balochistan that is you know Bolan, the Bolan River. Okay. Okay. Some other unique entities, you can see the sun, the moon, the earth, the sky, the world. Um, we can use also uh, the different article with, uh, you know, that uh, directions uh, like the east, the west, the north, the south. Okay. Actually, here it's not uh, written, but uh, I remember now that uh, also sometimes, you know, we use the articles with seas, okay? Like the Arabian Sea, you can say the Caribbean Sea, the Red Sea, the Nile Sea, etc. Okay? And with also oceans, we use article, the, okay? Why? Because they are definite in themselves they don't need uh, to be uh, you can say modified or uh, to be defined because they are already defined so that's why whenever something is definite in itself then we use definite article the whether okay like the indian ocean the atlantic ocean the pacific ocean here, uh, you know, we can use different article, the, with the nationalities or, you know, with when we talk about the nations, you know, it's group wise, then we use the, okay? Like, the American people, the Indian people, the Pakistani people, or you can say that, you know, the American army, the Indian army, the Pakistan army, the American flag, the Pakistani flag, the Indian flag, okay, anything, okay? So it comes in this category, okay? So where we put people, okay? Then uh, this, you know, American becomes an adjective. Where we, where we put a noun here, so this one becomes an adjective. But where we do not put a noun here, so this one becomes a noun, okay? Now here it is not an, an adjective. It is a noun. Here it is an adjective. Okay. Here it is an adjective. Here it is a noun. Okay. Like see. The Americans. The Indians. The Pakistanis. Okay. The Germans. Okay. So now these are nouns. Why? Because there are no other nouns. That's why these words will have to become nouns. And with proper nouns, sorry, with common nouns, we can use article, okay? But here, you know, there is a problem that we can say the Americans, the Indians, the Pakistanis, but we cannot say the Englishes, the Frenches, okay? Uh, because mostly these words English and French are used as proper nouns. Okay. Although they can be used as common nouns, you can as the nations, you can say that you know Americans, Indians, Pakistanis. Okay. Similarly, these words can be used, okay. Uh, uh, like you know, English and French. But the problem is that we cannot, you know, uh, you know, uh, pluralize them. Okay. If we talk about the nation, we can say English, but we do not say Englishes, okay? We do not say the Frenches, we say the French, okay? So this is the problem with them, that uh, we do not put S-E-S, okay, with them, when we use them as nouns, okay? Okay, other two words, the rich people, the poor people, actually okay whenever we say the rich the poor means the rich people the poor people because we can automatically understand that people can become poor or rich 
otherwise not you know animals or things cannot be plural uh, sorry that poor and rich okay so this is the difference that in the world there are you know some uh, you can say things which do not need uh, you can say uh, a definition they are already you know uh, defined you can say by our common sense okay like uh, if i say yesterday i met the president you know i am talking about the president of the country okay i met the chairman you know i'm talking about uh, you know the chair person of that organization okay i met the dc the deputy commissioner okay so you know that's one i met the ac the assistant commissioner and uh, you can say i met the pm the prime minister okay i met the cm the chief minister so you can understand you know these are just one you know alone that's why they don't need uh, uh, you can say definition they are already defined when we talk about so for example i am in this room so i say my friend that open the window so he can automatically understand that i am talking you know about the window of my room here okay i'm not talking about another window if i say open the door so he can automatically understand that i'm talking about this door okay um, if i say open the gate so it means i am talking about the gate of our compound okay so that's why sometimes you know things are known easily you can say they, things are understood by the common sense okay for example if i say that you know yesterday i yesterday i saw a bus got accident but luckily the driver sorry but luckily the driver had no injuries okay yesterday i saw a bus got accident but the driver uh, but luckily the driver had no injuries now i'm saying driver you can easily understand that which driver i'm talking about i'm talking about that bus because only there is one person one driver okay can drive the bus two drivers cannot drive the bus at the same time okay so uh, here i said where we say the rich the poor means people okay so that's why here we have put the rich the poor now here you will say that uh, rich and poor these two words are adjectives not nouns okay you must understand this these two words are adjectives not nouns but sometimes when we you know we talk generally as you can say group wise nation wise community wise then we use the rich the poor then we use these adjectives as a noun okay now they are you know the group wise community wise that's why they think also the plural verb uh, the superlative degrees of adjectives take the article the okay definite article the we can use definite article the with the superlative degrees of adjective okay and also we can use uh, the superlative uh, we can use uh, article uh, definite article the with the superlative degrees of adverbs okay you can see the sentence now he is the fastest he is the fastest he runs the fastest he is the fastest it is an adjective he runs the fastest it is an adverb okay the difference between uh, these two uh, things is this that whenever we say is r m okay was verb the verb be for adjectives okay that's why we say he is the fastest he is the strongest okay we are the happiest like this but when it comes to adverbs we say he runs the fastest okay he goes the fastest he comes the fastest okay he speaks the fastest so in this way these are adverbs why because there are no such verbs is are am was were has been have been will be okay 
there are other ordinary verbs goes comes rides reads he runs the fastest okay he goes the fastest this car goes the fastest okay so in this way it is a red verb and also we can use uh, definite article the with uh, you know comparative cases okay uh, with uh, comparative uh, degrees of adjective and comparative uh, degree of uh, you can say uh, adverb like you can say he is the wiser of the two brothers when you two, when you compare two you know persons you can say he is the wiser of the two brothers okay the same you can say here you know uh, the comparative degree of adverb the more you read the more you learn the more you read the more you learn okay so once again here i would like to you can say remind you that we use indefinite article a or n only with the uh, you can say singular countable nouns but we can use definite article the with common nouns with uh, uh, you can say uh, sometimes strict nouns with uh, uh, you can say plural nouns with uh, you can say plural you can see here uh, the americans indians pakistanis we can use okay even we can use it with uncountable nouns like the water of this well is very sweet okay the water of this well is very sweet so we can use them okay so uh, i think <coughs> you have understood uh, the concept of articles in today's lesson and uh, here i would like to tell you that you know the same video will be in three other languages it will be available on my youtube channel there is nawab kiazi my youtube channel is nawab kiazi n a w a b k i a z i okay so the same video same lesson will be available uh, in three more languages that is brahvi language urdu language and balochi language okay and uh, you can see each video is available there in four languages english you can see that i'm you know speaking here english language urdu language brahvi language balochi language okay so i think uh, <coughs> this is enough for today so until the next meeting stay with us